What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of some Dragon Age Origins Part 16. Today, we are be going off away from our camp. Because if you guys watched the last episode, we actually um, spent the whole thing talking to Morgan and Shale, if I remember correctly. It was um, so eventful. But we're going to head to Redcliffe Village because it seems... Most things are leading towards there. Of course, we could choose somewhere else if we so desired, but I think Redcliffe is a good choice. And we're attacked. All right. And there's traps around, apparently. All right, we just got to keep an eye on everybody, make sure everybody stays healed up. I heal a there. Unless he doesn't want to get healed. Uh oh. Um, heal. 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 Thank you. Jeez. That was almost bad. Right ahead. It yeah, just make sure we get rid of all these traps. Right away. It looks like every trap we disarm also gives us XP, which is nice. So it's actually worth doing. I think that's all of them. Nope, there's one more. I'll do it. All right, um, let's head this way, I guess. Yeah. Onward. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to Shoot. tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Tell me, Alistair, what's on your mind? Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say yes. how I know Al Eamon exactly? Uh, he, why, are you his son or something? No, no, I'm not his son. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Al Eamon took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marek, which made Caelan my half-brother. I suppose. Oh. So you're not just any kind of bastard, but you're a royal bastard. Ha, yes, I guess it does it, that. I should use that line more often. <laughs> I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Does, um... Does Loghain know about your involvement? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that Great. means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. <laughs> to be fair, I guess you were probably luckier than most old friends, I suppose. They could have just thrown you off. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I wasn't raised as the Arl's son, though. 
If you're picturing that, I slept in hay out in the stables, not on silk sheets. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall, and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The owl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. So that implies that you are then heir to the throne, correct? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Caelan's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. <laughs> That's not truly what you really think, is it? No, I, I suppose not. I don't feel very lucky at all, to be honest. <laughs> well, we made it. Redcliffe Village. I guess it's just time to start exploring. See what we can find, see who we can see. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Um, if you're implying about R. Lehman, then I suppose, other than that, I have other things I must attend to. So you, you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? Yeah, but the, that R. Lehman is sick. We get it. He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Is anyone surprised? Anyone? We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Well, no time like the present. And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. Oh, good I. No, my lord. <laughs> they just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. No, not all of us died exactly. There is more than one Grey Warden alive. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. 
So, what exactly are these evil things that you're talking about? Thomas said the same thing, he didn't really elaborate. Some call them the walking dead. Decomposing corpses, ah. returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the Come next night. Each night they come, with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. Well... If you want to my help, I I guess, but you don't really know me, and you don't know what our potential is. I know Alistair, and I trust those he chooses to travel with. What do you say? Well, I have questions first, but yes. By all means. So... Tell me why you don't just evacuate this whole village to begin I with. I tried. Our one attempt at an organized evacuation resulted in an immediate attack. Yesterday, I found out these creatures attack those fleeing on their own, even during daytime. Whatever lies in the castle wants this village dead. Hmm. That's odd. We've, we didn't have any problems entering the village. Huh. Well, what happens after tonight? Is there a possible motive? Do you have any, like way to know what the source Once is. Once the village is safe, we will try to enter the castle to find the source of this trouble. Right, that's what I just said. And there is not a way in the castle the then? The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it, certainly, but what would that accomplish? Our numbers are too few. We cannot throw men at the castle walls when they are needed to protect the village. Well, that's fine, then. then. you will help us? I already said I would. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss mm -hmm. with them the preparations for the coming battle. Well then, tell me about the situation uh, with Of course. You. So you have some of our Lehman's knights I here. I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? I don't know what the hell you're talking about Eamon's now. Eamon's illness was... is very serious. The Arlesa, out of desperation, sent the knights on a quest for a cure. I know little about this, other than that the cure was supposed to be an ancient relic of great power. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. Sir Perth. All right. Well, then I guess I should get Very back to well. work. Luck be with you, my friend. Mm -hmm. So we have some things in need for us to do. Let us pray. Let's explore. Blessed art thou Let us who pray. In the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blah, 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 says Squashy Maru. Hello, you have You're a name. You're a warden, right? Were you in Ostagar? In the Kokari Wilds? My husband and son went there to bring the chant of light to the chastened. Oh. But I haven't heard from them since. You're, you're Jadhaza then? You, you're the one I've read in the I note. I am. You've heard of me? <laughs> yes, I, I did actually. Through several notes from your husband and your son. Unfortunately, they are both deceased. The Darkspawn got to them, you see. I... I thought that might be the case. Thank you for telling me. Well, certainly, I'm sorry about what happened, but... I guess I must be Make off. Make his blessings upon you. Doesn't it feel good That's to tell fair, them... Mother. One of the bad men. Of how they're all dead. Good day. Don't worry. I Good day. We'll be all right. I want to go home. I'm so scared, Father. Okay, we got villagers. What are we going to do? Caitlin, hello. Am I bothering you? 
I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. No, it's it's fine. I mean, I understand that you're all going through a rough time. Is that why you're in mourning? Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time, everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. And you haven't tried looking for him? I went to her house. It's by the square. He wasn't there. I searched the rest of the village, too. I called, and I mm -hmm. called, but he never answered. I, I wonder if he ran off into the woods. I'm so worried. Without me, he has nobody. And why exactly would he run off? Do you know why? Is it because of your mother? He said something about saving mother. He's just a little boy. He doesn't understand she's gone. I hope he didn't try to go to the castle. Oh, that would be awful. Well, um, I'll try to find him. There's no promises, but I'll keep an eye you out. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. Silence, girl. Do you want the children to hear you? Okay, to the village and explore. Okay, what's the map look like here? Um, it's something. So you got two different places to go here. Um, let's just clear these out. We gotta talk to these two, and then we gotta find Bevan. And maybe find other quests along the way. No, we don't have the menu. The menu well, let's start by exploring, I suppose. That's a good, good to start as any. Start getting this map explored. Um, ideally, we should probably talk to um, Murdoch and Sir Perth last, I'm thinking. Because it looks like those are the absolute main story-esque things, right? So, I guess it would make sense to do everything else first. But that's just me. Lake Callanhad. No swimming. A lot of stuff. It reminds me of, um, oh, what is it called? Is it the City of Dale in um, The Hobbit? I think that's what it was called. Little Lakeside Village. Tattered shopping list. That might be important. Let us see. Not really. Let's mark all these as red. There's a lamp. Oil in these barrels. What quest updated? Find a use for the barrels of oil. You notice some barrels of oil in the general store. Perhaps someone could use them to defend Redcliffe. Allow me. I could do that for you. Mm, no. Oh, I didn't please do. Sorry, can't do that. What? The one thing I bring her for, and she can't even do it. That sucks. Nobody's even there in the frickin' store, and the store is unlocked at that. Let's knock on the door. Hello? Just bust it open, I guess. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. <laughs> and you're talking to a mage. Do you care to rephrase that accusation? You know what? In the interest of keeping my face from bursting into flame, I think I will. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Tell me, what are you doing... Shut up in this freaking building here. Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Wonderful. Then you should probably be out there, shouldn't you? Why? When did this town ever rush to my rescue?
Well, then, then you're just a post, I guess. You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? Well, then, how's this for an answer, then, dwarf? You can either die out there fighting, or you can die here and now. So, that's what it comes down to, huh? <laughs> Fine. I'll go. If you want me out there so badly. Good. <laughs> Spoken like someone who doesn't know me very well. Go tell Murdoch he won. And I better see you out there in the square when those creatures come. I uh, guarantee I will. And I leveled. Excellent. Okay, okay. Should I start getting some more con? Or at least a point of con? Yeah. Only because we are becoming so, like, weak. Um... What else should we acquire? Staff of Focus actually probably wouldn't be bad. You could... Oh, there's dogs barking outside. Sorry about that. Um, you could argue Revival, because then we could bring somebody back up, right? Eh, yeah, I can argue that. But I think maybe getting Staff of Focus up first would be better. And then we can start working towards other spirit healer-esque things. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And yeah, I really should start leveling up Khan one at a time, I think. Not I'll buy like a ton or anything, just so I can get more health and survive something. Because things are actually starting to hit really hard already for me when they actually get to me. And that is not ideal. It just isn't. Well, apparently we, some invertedly, did kind of a quest, I guess. Not that we were trying to, we were just exploring, but it's fine. Not opposed to it. Dwayne's house, general store, Caitlin's home. Oh. We can check out her home. Let's see if we can find any evidence of where the boy went. Nope, that's just a book. A worthless book at that. Huh. Let's just open it. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. That was easy. Hello Please, there. don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Tell me, are you... Caitlin's it's little brother? Evan. My... My sister is Caitlin. She's probably at the Chantry looking for me. Is this your house? Yes. It was my mother's house. She's dead now. And Caitlin said we have to move away if we survive. Did you know your sister's looking for you? I just... Didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. Hmm. And how is hiding in the dresser being brave? I wasn't always in here. I hid when I heard you coming. I was... Well, I shouldn't tell you. It's a secret. Ah. Uh, maybe I could help you. What is it you acquire of a mage of my caliber? You could. All right. I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword mm -hmm. and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. And where is this sword now? In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key. But I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Well, I could use that sword to help the village if it would ease your burden. I, I guess you're right. I should help defend the village, shouldn't I? Father would have if he were here. Oh, all right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I should... Oh, I will. Go back to the Chantry. Good luck. And that sounds like something for Alistair. Not I. But 
I'm excited. What do we have here? Finished. The green blade. Let's do some comparisons with Alistair's weapon. Yes, yeah, just better. Straight up better. All right. Excellent. I kind of was hoping it was better. Um. Do, 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 do. I should take the um rune out of that weapon. But we would have to see Sandal to do that, I think. For now, I guess we could junk it. So I don't have to look at it. I definitely need Leliana's. Oh, she has enough decks now? Oh, when'd she get enough decks? Oh, I didn't even realize. Huh. Let's put this in this hand. 4.4, 4.4. Okay. Excellent. I didn't even realize she was even um, capable of using that yet. Well, it's good to know. Good. That is indeed most excellent. Okay, where to next? Mark all that as red. Redcliffe. Yeah, we got to talk to Caitlyn about a kid. We should probably do that first before exploring further, eh? Yeah, I think so. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um. It's fine. Don't worry about Nika it. Nika sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Mm-hmm. Cool. Just to get it out of my inventory. Right. What is next? So we got these dingleberries they're out here we gotta talk to murdoch but we're just gonna be holding off of murdoch for a little bit um go away curse oh. you leave me in peace you've already taken everything out of my stores there's nothing left um excuse me I'm who are you i'm a bloody blacksmith and this is my shop there's nothing of interest here anymore whoever you are so you best move along um, I'd just like to speak with you, if, if I may. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. All right. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Squashy Maru. I'm a Grey Warden from the land of Ferelden, helping Van Teagain against the Blight and against whatever's coming here tonight. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? So, tell me, is the smithy actually closed? Look around. The militia took everything they could use. I could start up the forge again, but I won't, since Murdoch won't listen to me. Come on now. You're sure you're not going to help me, a Grey Warden, and high and appraised mage of the Circle of Magi? If you mean you want me to smith something for you, then no. But feel free to take whatever's left. I don't suppose it matters much anymore. Hmm. Well, they couldn't have possibly taken everything. Everything that they could find, sure. Walked in here and took it all right off the walls. But did they find everything? Hey, maybe not. I'd be stupid to keep everything out here where someone can find it easy. Tell you what, you want valuables? I've got some hidden away, maybe. But if you want me to dig them up, there's something I want you to do first. Shoot. My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. 
She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. <laughs> well, I can go out there and look for your daughter. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. True, that's true. Tell me, in what if she is deceased? It would be better than going to my grave wondering. Well, then I shall do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her, that you'll bring her back to me if you can. Of course I shall. Did I uh, say I wasn't going to? And if that's not good enough, I promise I'll find your daughter, return her safely, if she is alive. Of course, unless she doesn't want to come. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murder could be pleased. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay. That's completed. We're updated. Uh, I see you found my hiding place. I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. Uh-huh. Hope he's not mad if I... I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. And it's locked. At that. Yeah. Let me open it for you. I have the key. Thank you. Oh my goodness. We got some stuff. Okay, axe. It's bad. Dagger, it sucks. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. It sucks. <laughs> Oh no. Well, I guess I take all of it. And we're gonna have to junk all of it. I mean, what can you do? Um, I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. There's no way business. I'm right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. That would be great. I will sell you the stuff that I found from you. Thank you. Okay, what do we have in here? Not much, actually. Huh. Not much at all. And I don't think I want any of this stuff either. Well, I guess that's fine. We can sell some stuff, I suppose, that we probably aren't going to use. So that's something. Hmm. Yeah. And I should contemplate... Making more of these. Getting different plans would also probably be nice. But like, are we gonna need traps? Like, call traps and stuff? Probably not. At least I don't think we will. Yeah. Anyway. I think this is probably a good spot for us to end today's episode of Dragon Age Origins. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys have, make sure you guys leave a like with a comment. Tell me what you guys think of today's episode, and if you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. On our next episode, we're going to be exploring more of Redcliffe, <laughs> as we are, and... Just like you wanted. And we're going to see about trying to get things prepped for tonight um from murdoch in perth and see what we can do about that and i'll touch you guys all then goodbye